Hello everyone and welcome back to Bible Insight, where we embark on a captivating journey through the lives of remarkable women in the Bible. Today, we are embarking on a captivating journey into the heartwarming story of the widow's oil. This tale of courage, faith, and divine intervention can be found in the Old Testament, specifically in 2 Kings, chapter 4, verses 1-7. So, let's dive right into the rich tapestry of this remarkable narrative. Our story unfolds in a time when the chapter challenges of life were all too real. In the midst of a society where women's voices often went unheard, there lived a widow. She had once been the wife of a prophet, a man devoted to delivering God's messages to the people. Yet, tragedy had struck, leaving her a widow with two young sons to care for. The story kicks off with a scene of desperation. The widow finds herself entangled in a web of financial hardship. Her late husband had left behind a debt, a burden that seemed insurmountable. The weight of this debt hangs over her, casting a shadow of uncertainty over the future of her family. In her quest for a way out of this predicament, the widow turns to the prophet Elisha. Elisha was a man known for his deep connection with God, his wisdom, and his willingness to help those in need. As the widow stands before him, the gravity of her situation is palpable. Alicia listens to her story with empathy, understanding the depths of her distress. He recognizes that her plight requires divine intervention. In his wisdom, Alicia poses a pivotal question, one that would set the stage for the miraculous events that are about to unfold. Alicia asked, what do you have in your house? The widow's response is both poignant and humbling. She explains that her only remaining possession is a small jar of oil. This jar, seemingly insignificant, holds within it the potential for a miracle. Felicia, guided by divine insight, sees beyond the surface of this jar and perceives the hand of God at work. Felicia proceeds with a seemingly unconventional plan. He instructs the widow to gather empty vessels from her neighbors and friends. The purpose of these vessels becomes clearer as the narrative unfolds. They are the vessels into which the miracle will flow. With her trust placed in Alicia's guidance, the widow follows his instructions diligently. She borrows empty vessels, placing them in a space where she can see them. The anticipation of what is to come must have been both exhilarating and nerve-wracking. On with her small jar of oil, the widow begins to pour, and as she she does, the miraculous unfolds before her very eyes. The oil, once a mere drop in the jar, begins to flow. It flows and flows, defying the laws of nature, filling vessel after vessel with an unending supply. Imagine the widow's awe as she witnesses the impossible becoming possible. The oil keeps flowing, never faltering, until every vessel is filled to capacity. It's a scene that resonates with the idea of God's abundance and provision, reminding us that his blessings are boundless. The once nearly empty jar of oil, a symbol of the widow's faith and obedience, has become a vessel of blessing. It's a powerful lesson in how God can transform the little we have into an abundance that overflows. The story of the widow's oil isn't just about miraculous oil pouring into empty vessels. It's a story of faith in action, of obedience in the face of uncertainty, and of the transformative power of trust in God. As the vessels are filled, the widow's faith is affirmed. Her obedience to Alicia's instructions is a reflection of her trust in the divine. She took action, even when the odds seemed insurmountable, and in doing so, she played an active role in the unfolding miracle. The widow's oil story isn't confined to the pages of ancient scripture. It holds timeless truths and lessons that are just as relevant today. These lessons serve as guiding lights for our own lives, reminding us of the timeless truths found within the pages of the Bible. The story of the widow and her small jar of oil illustrates how God can multiply what we bring to him. In Matthew 14, 13, 21, we see a similar theme in the story of the feeding of the 5,000. Jesus took a young boy's small offering of five loaves and two fish and multiplied it to feed a multitude. Just as the widow's oil was multiplied, God can take our humble offerings and use them in ways we could never imagine. James 2.17 tells us that faith without works is dead. The widow's story is a perfect example of faith in action. She not only believed in Alicia's instructions but also acted upon them. In our lives, it's not enough to simply believe. Our faith should drive us to take steps of obedience and trust, just as the widow did. The widow's story resonates with the promise in Philippians 4.19, and my God will supply 
supply every need of yours according to his riches and glory in Christ Jesus. Even when faced with scarcity, we can trust that God's abundance surpasses our limitations. Just as the widow's oil overflowed, God's blessings overflow when we place our trust in him. The widow's story doesn't end with her immediate needs being met. The overflow of blessings she experienced had a ripple effect that extended beyond her household. The oil she poured became a source of provision not only for her but also for others. It's a beautiful illustration of how our faith and actions can touch the lives of those around us, creating a chain reaction of positivity and transformation. One of the most compelling themes of the widow's oil story is the triumph of faith over fear. The widow could have succumbed to the weight of her circumstances, allowing fear to paralyze her. Instead, she chose to trust and obey, and her faith paved the way for a miracle. This theme serves as a poignant reminder that fear often stands as the greatest barrier to experiencing God's miracles in our lives. When we allow fear to dictate our choices, we limit the possibilities of what God can do through us. The concept of abundance is the another central core of the widow's oil story. The overflowing oil serves as a metaphor for God's limitless provision. In the New Testament, we find a verse that beautifully encapsulates this idea of God's abundant blessings. Ephesians 3.20 states, Now to him who is able to do exceedingly abundantly above all that we ask or think, according to the power that works in us. This verse assures us that God's capacity to bless us far surpasses our own expectations. Just as the widow's jar of oil seemed inadequate, our offerings, whether they be our time, talents, or resources, can become instruments of God's abundant grace when placed in his hands. The story of the widow encourages us to trust that God's blessings will overflow in our lives, even in the face of apparent scarcity. As we conclude our exploration of the widow's oil story, we are left with a legacy of faith that continues to inspire across generations. This legacy mirrors the message of Hebrews 11 to 6. But without faith, it is impossible to please him, for he who comes to God must believe that he is, and that he is a rewarder of those who diligently seek him. The widow's journey from desperation to abundance stands as a testament to her unwavering faith in God's promises. Her story teaches us that when we diligently seek God and trust in his provision, we create a legacy of faith that pleases him. Just as the widow's faith led to miracles, our own trust and obedience can pave the way for God's transformative work in our lives. The widow's oil story, with its themes of faith over fear, the abundance of God's blessings, and the legacy of faith, resonates across time and cultures. May this narrative serve as a reminder that when we place our trust in God, even in the face of seemingly insurmountable challenges, we position ourselves to witness the miraculous unfolding of His plans. Thank you for embarking on this journey with us through the widow's oil story. As you go forward, may you hold on to the lessons of faith, abundance, and legacy that this narrative imparts. Remember to subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell, so you never miss an episode of Bible Insight. Until next time, may God's peace and blessings be upon you. Goodbye.